Hello friends. So in continuation with the uh, speed torque characteristics of uh, DC motors, uh, in this session we would like to discuss about separately excited DC motor. Very easily, very fundamentally, we will see how to derive its characteristics. So this is the uh, simple equivalent circuit or schematic of a DC separately excited motor. It's uh, having armature which is supplied with voltage V. It is having a separately excited field winding which is supplied with constant voltage VF. We assume over here that field excitation is constant. So field current is also constant and so the flux is also constant. As the motor runs, the back MF is developed uh, and motor takes armature current IA depending on the load, right? So the equations governing this motor, which are very known to you, are that the as, as per the kid jobs uh, voltage law, V is equal to back MF plus IRA, where RA is armature resistance, or in short, back MF is V minus IRA. We also know that the back MF is uh, depending on flux, uh, number of conductors, speed of the armature, number of poles, divided by 60 into A, where A is a winding constant, right? So in short, I can say that back MF is proportional to phi flux into speed. Or should I say back MF is proportional to phi into omega, where omega is in radians per second, N is in RPM. So back MF is given by some constant KB times phi into omega. Now, uh, from these equations, we can very easily write that uh, that speed is back MF divided by KB times phi and back MF is V minus IRA divided by KB phi. So if I rearrange the term, I get something like this. Of course, this phi is in denominator. I hope you understand that. And uh, once again, if I replace IA using the torque relation, torque is proportional to flux into armature current. So torque uh, is, uh, can I say KT times IA because I assume here flux is constant. It is a separately excited motor. So if I substitute this value, I get V is omega is equal to V divided by KB phi minus IA, uh, sorry, RA divided by KB phi into torque divided by some constant KT. If I simplify this, uh, the whole equation, I can rewrite it in this form. V divided by constant K1. K1 is KB into phi, both are constant. So new constant K1 I'm uh, writing over here and minus K2 times T. K2 is nothing but uh, representing the constant items RA divided by KB into phi into KT. So all these are constant. So I can replace by a new constant say K2 I can rewrite this equation to match the uh, uh, straight line equation. So it is omega is equal to minus k2 into t plus v by k1, which is nothing but similar to straight line equation y is equal to mx plus c, where m is the slope of the line and c is the intercept with the y axis. When x is equal to zero, the value is uh, uh, value of y is given by c, right? So in short, uh, I have a situation that my uh, characteristics of separately excited DC motor mathematically is a straight line with the negative slope, which is uh, minus RA divided by KB into KT into phi. Now for a motor, uh, the separately excited DC motor, RA is generally very small and divided by this, all this constant is going to be very small number. So slope is going to be very, very small and C is uh, V divided by K1, so the intercept is uh, directly proportional to the applied voltage V, right? So let's see how this characteristics looks like in, in uh, the graphical form. So we can see over here in graphical form, this uh, C part that is V by K1 is nothing giving you the no load speed when torque is equal to zero, whatever is the speed is called omega zero. So that depends on the supply voltage V you can see. And the slope M is very, very small. So you can see this line is almost parallel to the X axis or torque line, right? So these are the points which we, uh, which are worth noting. It is a straight line characteristics of, of course, up to maximum torque. After that, it is going to come down. That is not the part of our discussion over here. It is almost parallel to X axis because of a very small slope. 
it is good for constant speed application this is a parallel uh, the, the line is parallel to torque line so whatever is the variation in load torque uh, it does not affect the speed the load is al always going to uh, operate at almost constant speed we can see here this is suppose the load at which motor is operating and uh, omega 1 is the speed corresponding to it now suppose suddenly the load reduces so the new speed omega 2 you can see is almost uh, very near to omega 1 so there is not much variation in omega 1 you can see that omega 2 is approximately equal to omega 1 so what all constant speed applications we have like lifts or uh, escalators or conveyor belts where the, the load variation is there but you don't want speed to vary much so for such applications this uh, type of characteristics is very useful right so this is the basic characteristics of separately excited dc motor in next video we are going to discuss about the speed versus torque characteristics of dc shunt motor right so that's all in this session